What's up guys, BaseX here, and I'm gonna run it off the dome a little bit on what I believe to be as hacking, and what I like to do as far as hacking. Now, everybody knows me for modding and trolling, but mostly modding, I guess, because everybody's always messaging me, messaging me about modding. Now, when I mod and I hack, I don't like to do people's accounts, mainly because it ruins the game. People don't want, you know, I just don't believe in it. I don't think you should pay to do someone's account or you should do someone's account. It ruins the game. I think it totally ruins the game. It takes the fun out of it. It takes everything. Like, I mean, if you can mod and you can do this stuff yourself, why not have a little fun with it? But don't screw up the game for others and don't make it, don't ruin the game. And it will happen. It will, like, my for three, the Invisible Godmo classes. I didn't know I was playing with fire. That released, I didn't release it, but I kind of, antagonize the release of it and I shouldn't have done that but I didn't know what was gonna be and what happened and it ruined the game so please Activision fix that but regardless what I want to say is hacking yes I like to hack I'm ethical I like to do stuff to learn that's the key point I want to get through to everybody I like to hack I do hack but I do it to learn I do it ethically I know I know even if you do stuff to learn it can be illegal or it can be wrong so certain things you don't do, you know, you just don't do. So I mean, me, yes, I'm, I mod the game, but I don't mod it in a way that it ruins it for others. I make tools, but it's how you choose to use the tools that I release to use it for your self-benefit or, you know, just for fun. Me, I make tools because I like to create things. I like to be creative. Now, when I'm making a tool, I try to do, you know, how the tool looks, how the, just the organization, everything to do with the tool. I, my last few tools were coded in C Sharp. My current tool is VB. I have never coded in VB, and I do it because I want to learn. I want to know how to do it, and that's what makes me, you know, keep going forward. That what that's what keeps me going, and I mean that's probably what keeps a lot of people going is, you know, creativity and curiosity, and that's that's what that's definitely what keeps me going, and that's what I would describe as a hacker as someone who like who's curious wants to know how something works and how to make something out of what make something out of how you know something works you know what I mean it's just like I can mod I can mod pretty much any game but it, it's kind of easy for me it's it's not fun and I don't want to go through and ruin the game for others I don't want to go in using God mode super jump invisibility got you know stuff like that it's just not fun to me it, it honestly Totally takes away from the game. I, honest to God, me as base hacker, I'm gonna say this. I like to play on official firmware more than I like to play on my custom firmware. Yes, this is kind of a jaw dropper, but once you do it for so long and you've done so much, it gets boring. And I mean not just boring. It's like it's it's just normal. You get used to it, and I don't want to be. It's almost an addiction. When you mod for so long, it's like. You can't. When you notice that you don't have the radar, you don't have wall hack, you don't have a laser, you don't. It's simple things like that. When you don't have like red boxes around someone or radar, it's very noticeable when you go to your official. And when I play on my official and I don't see that, oh well, it used to be like that. I would be like, holy crap! I have been so addicted to my custom firmware that I I went months without playing my official and just only playing my custom firmware for months. And now it's to the point where I'm back on my official. And, I mean, I do switch between the two, but mostly I'm on my official. Except for when I'm creating a tool, which I am currently, I have to be on it in order to do it. But I, when, when I create a tool, I don't go into online matches. Even if I did go into online matches, my internet connection is not good enough to host, you know, lobbies of 18 or even, even 8. I can't even host lobbies of 8 because my connection's so bad. But, even if I could, which I have been able to at times, I don't. I feel that it ruins the game. Now, if you're like in a private match or you're in a pre-game lobby, change your name. What's what's it gonna hurt? I mean, yeah, you're changing your name. It's not it's not really it's not really doing anything. Yeah, I can change my name. I can change my prestige. I may have a lock all. I mean, a lock all isn't that bad if you're the modder that did it. But if you start giving it to people, everybody's gonna have it, and it's not gonna be fun. It's like, what are you working for if everybody else already has it? It's not fun. And another thing I want to say is I'm in a clan. It's called IP2K currently. 
and uh, so far I like the clan. I mean, it's really cool. But what I want to say is, is we're in. Uh, we're actually. I'm trying to go. You know, not really trying to go MLG, but I'm trying to. You know, get a part of me to go like tryharding videos. You know, maybe make something of a clan. Now, I, me, my clan leader, and a couple of my clan members have also realized that there's a clan above us beating us. We're in platinum division at the moment. And we were in first for a while, and uh, there's actually another clan in front of us right now that is in first, that is leading, and they are a bunch of modders. I mod. I mean, I mod, and I can tell you that that's wrong. People should not be modding for MLG, for to be in the Platinum Division. That's not right. You should not be doing that. It, You're taking the fun, like... I hope Activision bans you. I hope Infinity Ward, Activision, I don't even care what game you on. If you're playing for MLG or Clan, stuff like that, Clan Battles, you need to be banned. And I hope you get banned. I mean, it's not hard to unban yourself, don't get me wrong, but you should be, you know, banned. Account banned. Account banned is probably the worst over a system ban, because system bans get banned all the time. If I was Activision, or even, not Activision, if I was Sony, or even Activision or whatever, if they, they need to notice when people are modding, because ghosts... You can be modding ghosts and you won't get banned for like a month at least. And I haven't been banned yet. Actually, I just got banned, but that was because that count's been like two two months. What I'm trying to say is though, I'm kind of getting off subject. Hacking, like, I hack to learn. I'm not trying to, you know, ruin other people's fun or ruin other people's experiences because I want to learn or have my experiences. So. Please don't ask me for anything to do with, you know, modding your account or doing stuff because I don't like to do that. I, I, yes, money's nice, but I feel that it's more than just that. This game just came out. This Call of Duty Ghost is the, my favorite Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2. Now, I even like COD World at War. Now, COD World at War, when I was on my official, I had USBs, I, well, USB, and I had C, uh, like a CFG, yeah, a, C, a little CFG. That was the funnest thing to me. It, you know, it wasn't even that bad, but it, it was fun. That's kind of what led up to me getting the custom firmware was COD World at War and me CFG mod. And uh, then Modern for 2, because I had a couple, f I had like one or two friend modders that got infected or whatever, but what I'm saying is like, Modern for 2 is ruined. I don't want Ghost to be like that. Modern for 3 is already screwed. Black Ops 2, that game, I don't even care about that game, but still, other people do, and I don't want that game ruined either. People need to stop and start to realize, the modders, yeah, you can do stuff, but don't do it to others in the lobby, don't be, you know, just don't ruin it for others, you know what I'm saying, like, me, I don't like to do that, so I mean, I guess I'm gonna wrap this up, I mean, I hope you get what I'm trying to say is, I don't like to ruin the game, I like to have fun, I do have an official from her, I do not mod on my base axe account, I am 100% official, I've never modded on it, so, what I wanna say to you is, this is base Haxer saying, I mod, but I don't do it to ruin others' fun. I do it for myself. To learn. Now I, now, I said myself. That sounds a little selfish. I do it for myself. But I also like to help other coders as well as modders. If, you know, they're doing it ethically. So, I mean, like I said, that's it. So, like, comment, and subscribe because you're awesome. I love you all. I, I really do appreciate all my subscribers. If there's some, you know, something you want to say, just, you know, let it out. Let me know. In the comments below and I rhyme like I flow but I don't smoke grow cuz I don't smoke that's base hacks I'm out deuces said it a little quick but you know you know base hacker is out of this crib and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next vid possibly one of the next vids you know what I mean you know what I mean you know what I mean all right peace